Turning now to the big story, war of words. Day 26 in the UAW GM strike, and tonight the two sides are taking their battle to the public. It's getting heated today. The UAW accusing General Motors of playing games at the expense of workers. The union claiming the automaker is, quote, purposely stalling the process to starve UAW GM workers off the picket lines. That letter coming after GM urged the union to quickly respond to the offer they made on Monday. The automaker adding that it's, quote, critical that we get back to producing quality vehicles. 7 Action News reporter Simon Chaykett is at the Warren Tech Center where workers have been rallying all day. Striking UAW members continue to call out General Motors saying the company is telling half truths and playing games and they say they'll continue to strike until they get a fair deal. We demand fair middle class wages, quality benefits and a better pathway for temporary workers and for job security. In this newly released scathing video message, the UAW vice president accusing General Motors of game playing and not telling the entire truth. The company's strategy of releasing half truths does nothing to reach a final settlement for you and your families. Among 46,000 GM workers on strike since September 16th are those outside the GM Tech Center in Warren. While they recognize GM has lost more than a billion dollars since the strike started, they're also acknowledging a personal cost and what's at stake for them. The strike probably go a couple more weeks. Hopefully, it'll be over shorter than that. Job security is what we're looking for. We want them to bring the plants that they're taking um, out of our country, bring it back here. We're just fighting as a family, as a team, and we're trusting in our leadership to keep it for us. And while these workers survive on $250 a week strike pay, GM is sharing a different version of events. In part of a statement from earlier today, they now say, on Monday, we presented another offer we felt achieved our mutual objectives. It would increase compensation through wages and lump sum payments, preserve industry-leading health care benefits without increasing out-of-pocket costs, enhance profit sharing with unlimited upside, and improve the ratification bonus. For temporary workers, our offer also would create a clear path to permanent employment and include a ratification bonus. Bonus. Our offer commits to thousands of new jobs right here in the U.S. and billions of dollars in new investments in our communities. In the strike, Mary. So far, there is no tentative deal in sight. Stay with 7 Action News as this story continues to unfold both on air and online. Live in Warren, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. And again, for more on this strike and the ongoing progress with negotiations, go to our website, WXYZ.com.